Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shanice. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get layered bombshell curls on a wig. Today's video, I'm using a 5x5 closure, but you can use a frontal, 4x4, 5x5, 6x6, whatever kind of wig you have, it'll work. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I do this, then keep on watching. So I'm going to be doing one side on camera just so you guys can see how I do it. So right here what I'm doing is I'm parting off the closure section because that is going to be the shortest part of our layer. So I'm just clipping that up on the top and we're going to be working with the bottom. So after you section off that top part, you're going to take the rest of the hair and split it into two like you see me doing here. I'm not going to do anything to the bottom part. I'm going to take that middle part and you're gonna take your scissors or your cutting shears, whatever you have, just make sure that they're sharp, hold it in a downward angle, and just start cutting at the hair. I know it might look a little weird if this is new to you, but I promise you once you curl and everything, it'll look fine. So now after you do the middle part, you're gonna go back to the top part that we sectioned off in the beginning, and you're gonna do the same exact thing. Hold the scissors or cutting shears in a downward angle, and cut at the hair, making sure that this part at the top is shorter than the part that we cut before. So once I'm done on the cutting, I'm gonna take some argan oil and apply this all through the hair to get the hair prep for styling. Now what I'm doing is I'm just hot combing the hair at the top just to get the flyaways down. You can do this at the end when you're ready to install your wig, but I like to do it before I even start curling. So once you section off the hair, you're gonna be working from the bottom of the wig up to the top. And I'm gonna spray each section with got to be spray. You can use any holding spray that you have. You just want something that's just gonna help the curls hold and last way longer. So after each curl, I'm going to pin it up so that the curls can cool in that position and they won't fall as fast. So yeah, now I'm just gonna finish curling this side of the hair and I'll be back once I curl the other side off camera.
So now it's time to take down the curls and I'm gonna be spraying the Beyond the Zone Turn Up the Heat Spray all over the hair before I start taking it down. This is gonna help loose up that crunch out of the hair that might be there from the Got To Be Glue Spray. So now it's time to start combing out the curls. I showed you guys two Y2 combs that I have that I like to use, but any Y2 comb could work. And what you're going to do is you're going to start combing the curls away from your face, or in this case, away from the mannequin head face. Now all that's left to do is really just to play with the hair, comb it out with different types of combs so you can see if you want your curls more big and voluptuous or if you like them a little tighter, you can comb them a little less. But the more you comb it, the more you play with it, the bigger the hair will get and the more fluffy the curls will be. I also like to take a fine tooth comb just to run that through the front of the hair because that helps to loose up the curls a little bit better. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned something. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.